so far behind at the moment on my vlogs because I've been working on loads of other things recently. Mostly I've been doing digital and video consultancy and I was commissioned to create a new brand. We had our big Christmas Fash Bash Sound Clash party and I managed not to get arrested this time. Long story, I might explain it sometime. I've been DJing loads and trying to combat the unhealthy late nights by making lots of smoothies. I'm trying to grow the shaved areas of my hair out. Little tip, never have long hair with shave sections because you're either going to have to shave it all off or look absolutely ridiculous as you try and grow it back. I've had a lovely beard trim. I've had numerous friends and strangers comment on how I look less homeless now, so thanks guys. And because of all that, I haven't had time to show everyone what I've been working on for Beatnik. So first up, a few designs. We needed new business cards, so I did a status. Front and back, and I made sure to include a free download on each card. A DJ Nikki, front and back, with a free download again. And to accompany those, I made Facebook banners, Facebook profile pic, and ran a little bit of Facebook advertising. Using our faces and very little text. If you're interested in Facebook advertising, check out something called the 20% rule. This was to advertise our Beatnik music and all the free downloads that we have available. There's free downloads all over our website and our YouTube and free mixes and free music and free, yeah, there's free everything. Go and grab some of it. Then at the same time, I ran a campaign for our No Requests DJ t-shirts. Which are currently being worn by so many amazing artists, DJs, bloggers, all our friends in general. If you want to get yours, just head to our website. Most importantly though, we just finished and released a new Beatnik remix for a great artist and friend of ours, Chromatone, of his soon to be released single, Fever, which is playing in the background now. You can download it free from our Google Play. A very important part of what we do at Beatnik is running our own label, so I'm quickly gonna go through the process of getting that remix online before it's off to DJ tonight. Everything starts off in Logic. And as you can see, we have the mix down of the remix here, finished and ready. As the mix down is complete, we bounce the remix out and then re-import it into Logic so we can master it. In very basic terms, mastering is the process of making the track as polished as possible because it needs to be the right volume and EQ'd properly for playing in clubs and on radio. I then export out a 320k mp3 and send it over to the artist for final approval and a high quality WAV version before I start the uploading process. Once the track has been given final approval from the artist, label or management, I then start to prepare the MP3 so it can be sent to DJs, radio and blogs. First I need to embed the ID3 tags and graphics into the file. One easy way to do this is to import the MP3 into iTunes and click Get Info. Now you can fill in all the description, details, genre and much more. Next, you click on the tab that allows you to upload the artwork. Once I've added all the information, I then upload this file to my FTP so I can make a free download link. Next, I open up Final Cut Pro to make a YouTube video by combining the artwork and the WAV. I export that video ready for YouTube before re-importing it and resizing it to create some 60 second snippets of the video to upload to Instagram. Uploading to YouTube can take a while but it gives you time to write a full description of the video as well as planning your title and tags. All three of these sections are very important for your SEO and search ranking, which will help your video to be found. I always remember to include the download links for the remix in the description too, so my subscribers can get the track easily. Once that's done, I then move on to adding end titles that let viewers easily subscribe to your channel or click to your other videos. Finally, I create cards at strategic positions throughout the video, which allow people to click directly to the website, music and merchandise. Facebook is next, so I follow the same routine as YouTube by uploading the video and tagging it, as well as filling in the title and description. I make sure to share it on my business page as well as my personal one. When all the videos are done, I move on to the sites where I sell or give free downloads of our music. My personal favourite is Google Play, as it's great for independent artists and labels and usually is ready to go live within 24 to 48 hours of you uploading the file. For Google Play you want to upload a WAV so it's as high quality as possible. Next you upload graphics and then name the remix and tag everything. We move over then to Bandcamp and do the same. Upload the WAV, graphics, name the file and tag it. Next, we hit all of the social media, starting with Instagram, where I post the 60-second snippets at strategic intervals, each time with a well-written description and hashtags to make it discoverable. 
I will often also post the artwork as a picture too. My Instagram posts are set to auto post on Twitter and Facebook, but I also make sure to go in and post links to the YouTube video, the Google Play download link, and always try to remember to at everyone involved in the remix, especially the artist. I will also make sure to share the video from YouTube on as many of the social media outlets as possible, including Twitter, Google+, and sometimes even Reddit, as this can help with your YouTube rankings too if lots of people share your video. I will then make sure to embed the YouTube video on my website as well as my blog. Finally, once all of the above has been done, I create a mail out in MailChimp to send to our database of DJs, radio stations and bloggers. I create the mail out with bespoke size designs. I feature the direct download link very heavily as well as some press blurb to explain all about the remix. In case anyone doesn't want the direct download link, I also include the Google Play and Bandcamp links. Then I embed the YouTube video and have links to all of our social media as well as the artist's social media too. I always like to add a little more value, so then I feature my vlogs next for everyone to keep up with what we're up to. After that, it's links to be able to buy our clothing and merchandise, and then finally generic links to our YouTube channel, shop, music and contact. Once all of that is in place, I then send it out to our mailing list, which has a few thousand people on it, and hopefully the track will start to create a buzz and get loads of play on radio and in clubs. And now that I've got that done, it's off to DJ tonight at the One Magazine launch party at Library London, a members club in Covent Garden. I'm on my way to the One Magazine launch uh, at Library London and we're going to go and DJ there, so let's go and see what it's about. Hello mate, oh, we're the DJs. Good. Yeah, we're a little bit late. Hey, <laughs> Cheers. Right. Oh. How's it going? Yeah, really good. Really I haven't good. seen you in ages. Right? You're right. How's, How's it going? going? I know. Hello mate, we're the DJs. Okay, so Guess we're heading through there. Okay. Cheers. Woo. Through the door. Let's get it going. Lock me in. It was minus one this morning when I got in the car. Job done. Home time. Time to go home. Back in Trafalgar Square, on St. Martin's Lane, and it's time to go home. That was long. But fun. We had a wicked time. Check out one magazine. <laughs> 